What's the key to building wealth? Multiple income streams. At least that's what millionaires will tell you. 65% of them have at least three income streams, and nearly one-third have five or more income streams. So if you're still tied to your day job, and you're serious about reaching financial freedom, then ditch the cars, jewelry, and luxuries. Instead, let's look into spending our money on the ultimate status symbols, income-producing assets. There is no lower, middle, or upper class. There is the investor class and the people who have to work for a living. Sure, working your way towards a really high-paying salary is cool I guess, but transforming yourself into a business mogul with money flowing in from all your different successful ventures. Now that's winning the money game. In this video, we'll explore some of the top 10 best assets that make you rich, why you should purchase income-generating assets, how to invest in these assets, and many other passive income tips and tricks. So if this is the kind of content that you enjoy, please go ahead and hit the like button, it helps this video go out to more people like you. Let's get started. 1. Dividend Stocks Dividend-paying stocks are yet another excellent way to generate passive income from your investment. Dividend stocks are well known for being dependable companies with a track record of success. When considering dividend stocks, you should look at the company's track record to see if they have a strong track record of delivering results. One of my favorite aspects of dividend-paying stocks is their ability to be passive. Your portfolio will grow exponentially if you reinvest your dividends. While dividend-paying stocks have many advantages, some investors dislike the fact that they tend to be more mature companies with slowing growth. As a result, you'll want to make sure the company you invest in isn't consistently falling in value, or else your investment may lose value. Comment down below which stocks one can buy in 2022. 2. Exchange-Traded Funds ETFs. Purchasing an exchange-traded fund can be one of the best income-producing assets to own if you want a diverse investment portfolio with a strong track record of results. ETFs are similar to mutual funds in that they contain a collection of stocks and investments that are traded directly on the stock exchange. This means they are extremely liquid to own. The primary distinction between an ETF and a mutual fund is how they are managed. ETFs are not actively managed, which means that your holding will not buy and sell stocks on a regular basis. This aids in fee reduction. ETFs are a great way to build your income because of their lower fee structure. Mutual funds are managed more actively. This means that a portfolio manager actively decides when it is appropriate to buy or sell a mutual fund stock. This means that while a mutual fund may provide higher returns, it will also charge higher fees. 3. Mutual Funds A mutual fund can be an excellent choice if you are looking for a well-diversified income-producing asset. Mutual funds are a great way to diversify your investments and grow your money. Mutual funds, as previously stated, are more actively managed, so they tend to have higher returns, though this is often offset by an increase in fees. These funds can be ideal income-generating assets for both novice and seasoned investors. 4. Index Funds When it comes to the stock market, index funds are one of the most popular types of investments. Index funds are essentially a collection of stocks that comprise an index. For example, the stock symbol SPY denotes an index fund that tracks the S&P 500, which is comprised of the 500 largest companies in the United States. Index funds are a simple way to diversify your assets and earn decent returns. 5. Interest-Paying Bonds Bonds are essentially IOUs issued by businesses to investors. You put a fixed amount of money into a bond, and the company agrees to pay you a certain percentage of the money back. Of course this is a simplification. You can purchase bonds from all sorts of entities, including companies, ACA corporate bonds, large, stable companies, investment-grade corporate bonds, small, ultra-risky companies, junk bonds, the federal government, treasury bills, sections of the federal government, agency bonds, state and local governments, municipal bonds, foreign companies or governments, foreign bonds. Interest rates, of course, vary greatly depending on the type of bond and the current interest rate environment. Bonds, on the other hand, can yield anywhere from 1 to 4 percent. Bonds are popular among investors due to the stability of their fixed payments as well as the stability of the bond's underlying price. While the price of stocks fluctuates wildly, the price of bonds is much more stable. 6. Private Equity Investing The practice of investing in private companies, many of which are in their early stages of development, is referred to as private equity investing. This can be an appealing opportunity, 
especially if you are in the midst of the next successful startup company. While private equity investing can provide lucrative returns, there are a number of factors to consider. The most obvious is that you will need to conduct research in order to identify the best companies to invest in. It is not uncommon for private companies to fail in their first few years, so exercise caution when looking for companies to invest in. Private equity investing also has a lockup period. This refers to the period of time during which investors will be unable to access the funds they have invested. Lockup periods can range from 6 months to 10 years, depending on the company. When considering private equity investing, keep in mind how a lockup period might affect your finances. 7. Annuities Annuities are essentially a lump sum investment, paid to an insurance company that is repaid to the investor with a return on investment over time. Because the funds can only be withdrawn after the age of 59.5, this strategy is popular among retirees. 8. Short-term rental properties Owning rental properties, including short-term rentals, is a great way to increase your passive income streams. Customers are always looking for homes and rooms to rent for shorter periods of time, thanks to the rise of sites like Airbnb and VRBO. Sometimes it's just for the weekend, and other times it's for an entire week. Short-term rental ownership entails more responsibilities than long-term rental ownership. You must ensure that the house is clean before your guests arrive. This means you'll have to pay for routine cleaning, which can get expensive. If you do not want to do this work yourself, you can hire a property management company that specializes in short-term rentals. The income from these properties can be extremely lucrative. Homes on the beach, near major events, or with a desirable interior can generate thousands of dollars in passive income each month. 9. Crowdfunded Real Estate Crowdfunded real estate, like real estate investment trusts, takes a hands-off approach to real estate investing. There are numerous platforms available to get started investing in real estate without having to deal with leaky roofs, water in the basement, or other problems that may arise with rental properties. Examples include a fundrise. Fundrise is a fantastic way to invest in real estate without the hassle of owning multiple family homes. Fundrise allows you to start investing with as little as $500, making it very accessible to both novice and experienced investors. Be Peer Street. Peer Street is my second favorite real estate investment platform. Peer Street requires a minimum investment of $1,000 to get started, which is slightly higher than Fundrise, but not unreasonable. See Realty Mogul. Realty Mogul is an easy-to-use crowdfunded real estate investing platform that allows you to invest in pre-vetted real estate without the hassle and headache of traditional real estate investing. D. CrowdStreet CrowdStreet is yet another excellent crowdfunded real estate platform for growing your funds. This platform caters to larger investors and charges no account fees. The minimum investment is higher than on all other platforms, but it's worth considering if you want to grow your money. 10. Own a physical business. Some income generating assets are more difficult to manage than others. Owning a business necessitates a distinct set of entrepreneurial skills, as well as the motivation and dedication to see it through to completion. The main benefit of this type of income generating asset is that the income potential can be quite high, even with limited resources. On the other hand, this is one of the riskiest income generating assets. Because 20% of businesses fail within the first year, you'll need to devise a plan and strategy to ensure your venture thrives in any environment. We have done a video on how to start a business, make sure to check the link in the card. We take pride in the quality of our audience and your desire to actively improve your finances, so we want you to join the conversion. Your turn, which one was your favorite? Did I miss any? Leave me a comment below. Now for those of you still watching, you're a true money finder. Of course there's a bonus waiting. Start an online business. If you want to start a business with low startup costs and a high income potential, I believe that starting an online business is an excellent way to accelerate your path to financial freedom. What exactly is an online business? There are numerous types of online businesses, also known as digital real estate, that can generate passive income. I own several types of money-making blogs, which are excellent examples of online businesses. Because you can run an online business from almost anywhere in the world, I believe it is one of the best income-generating assets you can have to diversify your income. However, a blog isn't the only type of online business you can start. To make money, some people will create affiliate websites, grow social media channels, or sell online courses. Starting any business necessitates careful planning and a well-defined success strategy. It can be difficult to keep your business afloat if you do not devote the time and resources necessary to successfully launch and grow it. 
This next video will show you how to invest in peer-to-peer, P2P loans. Thank you for watching.